Well, that wasn't meant to happen. I can't believe that just happened. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Abermans, on the Abermansia Peninsula. We've had a week off and we are back. And you will notice I'm not actually on the peninsula. The peninsula, that's over there, look, over in that general direction over there. I am at the Mates Base and the Hall of Heroes on Mates Base Point. And that's because today's episode, or at least this part of it, is going to be about extending the Hall of Heroes yet again. This is, well, actually, I'm a little bit bonkers, to be honest about it. Um, I just, I've not got enough room. I've got a load of people that I need to slip in there, and I've genuinely not got enough room. I need to increase this area a smidge around here. I've got three gaps, and I need five, so I suppose I could slip an extra one in either side there. But actually... What I really need to do is what I've started to do here and expand the cobble because we've got to add a load of people in and I've only got one gap left there, which I will fill. I will use that gap. But in fact, you know what? Hmm. Should I do it now? Right. Okay. Where's my sign? I'm going to do this one now. So as the upstairs is done. So today, my first person is Bianca Jasper. Thank you, Bianca, for becoming a cobblestone patron. You have got the last spot in this floor. Congratulations. It's good to see you in that silver suit. We have got to go now downstairs and start basically bashing out this area because this is where the next part of the Hall of Heroes is going to be, the cobble part. It's going to be in here. And I've got, well, no small amount of digging to do. The last episode was a load of digging as well, wasn't it? How's that work then? Not quite sure how that's happened. If I come out there, is that the floor? Yes, it is. Right, so that's the underside of the other floor, which is absolutely fine. That's what I'm looking for. And then we're going to line that out. So it should be five to the floor. And if I then put... Hang on, I need to test something. Have I got anything that digs out that easy? No, I've not. Right, so if I come here and do one, two, three, four... I know they're on a wonk, but it's four with a gap because that is a slab at the top. It is a top slab. So let's just grab those. I'm going to carry on digging out here, see if we can't get a decent hole. Because I think I'm going to I'm going to try and future proof this at least a little bit and make it sufficiently big that we're not going to have to do yet another extension for a little while. Although to be honest, that's the kind of problem that I don't mind having. You know that feeling when you realise that you've bitten off just a little bit more than you can probably chew? Well, that's how I am currently feeling with this project. I don't know how, room this is, how, how, room this is, how big this room is going to be. You can see the glowstone is there because it's the back end of the diamond patron room just here. Look there. And so what I'm going to do, have I got my glass? Yes, I do get my glass. Right. So I'm going to get the glass in here, the grey glass, obviously we're talking about cobbles, so it's grey glass, but I'm going to continue it along. I think we need to take this wood out because I'm not going to have a wooden floor. Um, maybe actually, no, maybe I will have a wooden floor. Maybe the floor is wooden because the upstairs floor is wooden, isn't it? Hang on, I've got to check now. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, so the upstairs floor is wooden. Of course the upstairs floor is wooden, you fool. It's there. Look, you're looking at it, you foolish man. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend. <sighs> How big are we going to go? Do we go Do we go in sideways that way as well? Well, I know we're going to go a bit further this direction anyway. That much is for sure. So how many have I got to fit in? Right, I want to future-proof it. I'm going to just keep going, I think. It is starting to come along. It's quite a big haul right now. I did think about going in this direction, but the outside is not too far over there, and the outside is also not too far in that direction. I'm keeping this wall just as is, and I'm not entirely sure how much further this way I can go, but it's starting to come together. So I'm just going to take out the floor now, I think, and just see if I can assess whether or not we've got enough space to do what I want to do. I think we've already got quite a lot of room here for a number of statues. So it comes to how 
how the layout really works I guess I don't want it just skirting the room because then we've got all of this area in the middle that we're going to waste so I want to do it in a slightly different way I think although given that we've got all of those um, lights along the wall I want statues kind of in front of those lights the same way as they are in the other area so it'll come to me eventually it'll come to me I'm going to lose these lights now then I'll get dark but I'm not sure how where's me wood I've got 56 bits of wood left at the minute and a load more in the shulker fortunately so let's just lay some of this wood down and we can start to work out exactly what we've got so if I just just fill that in there right if I could, where's me cobble I've got absolutely god loads of cobble as you can probably imagine so if I put one there that's one away right there, 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 and there. And then I come this side and I do the same. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven. So that'll become eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. If I don't make the room any bigger, so that's 26. Plus two more down the middle, that's 52. Um, I might go with that, you know. That might actually work. I've not left myself an awful lot of space for decoration, though, have I? Mm, that could be the challenge. So I think I have... I'm going to need some more of this slab. But I think I've pretty much got the room size sussed. And as a result, I think I'm more or less... Have I got... Yes, I have thought I did. I more or less know which way we're going in terms of the, the way all the podiums go. But... I do still need to fill in, rather than using wood on the scene, I'm using this. Yes, this is andesite. I don't mind andesite. People seem to think I don't like andesite. I quite like andesite as a building block. I don't like polished andesite. Any form of polished rock makes my teeth itch. But I don't mind andesite. Diorite, of course, just looks like solidified bird poo in a cube. And we're not even going to go anywhere near that. Granite, look, look, already gone. I need a load more of this stuff. So... I think we're pretty much there. I'm just going to take these six out because obviously the podiums start with glowstone. And these six as well. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we can put two, three, four, five, and six. So. That's how we're going to do it. You can see we've got glowstone and windows behind each one. I've got a little spare dude there because I'm going to do like a little decoration thing. We'll do the same around this way. These have all got to have cobble on top because these are cobble patrons. Not there, man, for goodness sake. Get rid of that. And have I got trapeze? Yeah, I've got trapdoors here. And we'll put the trapdoors, doesn't matter if they're upside down there and here you're seeing it here live folks F flip those up and that is that side done we'll carry on with that right so I'm right I need to go and get some more anisite slabs definitely these walls are not just going to be cobble I'm going to do the old standard do dull walls like we've got here with various different types of stone because I want to keep it consistent. Upstairs cobble room is that way, so downstairs cobble room has got to be the same. I shall be back when I've done a little more. So I've just been looking inside this room to have a look, and there's quite a lot of colour, not least of which the redstone blocks, obviously, but there's quite a lot of colour. If I come through to this room where we are, I've started to dot a little bit of green around, but it's a little bit bland. I'm a little bit worried it's going to look bland. But I don't know yet until I actually crack on. I might need to put a few more... I don't know what. Maybe some wooden fences or something like that. I, I don't know. It is a little monochrome. Dare I say, you know how much I love my monochrome? Not. So I've got to put more detail in. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. But I think we are just about there in terms of the format and structure. So what I've done, I've got... These going around the edges, and then in the middle I've got two-sided podium, and that is going to leave this area here. Should I have to ever go downwards, then I've got an area that I can go downwards, but 
I mean, I think that's a little bit. This this should sort me out. I'm pretty comfortable that this should sort me out. Fantastic. Let's crack on again. I think we got it sussed. So the time has come to actually do the thank yous and present everything. If you want to skip this bit, there's a timestamp in the description below so you can just skip right past. But we're going to go straight through. I recommend you don't skip past, by the way, because actually this bit I quite like. I think it's quite good. We've got a new member. And the new member is Owen Batty. Hi, Owen. You're looking good in leather there, mate. Thank you for come, becoming a member. You've got a white cube underneath you because you're a brand new member. It is really good to have you in the membership team. Amazing. Going through to the patron hall. And we are going to, we've obviously already mentioned Bianca who filled up the space. We're going to do this backwards, I think. So let's come round. We have a new diamond patron, Jacko Brits. Jacko, you are a absolute star. Sorry, an absolute star. You're looking fantastic clad in that very, very hardened steel. It's a pleasure to have got to know you on the server and in the comments. Thank you very, very much, my mate. You are beautifully sat on top of that diamond block. Thank you. Coming to redstone. So what I did, I just extended out, put one on each end. I'm probably going to have to do something more, I suspect. But there we go. First off, Henry Wattier. Henry, thank you for becoming a brand new patron. It is good to see you on that red block. Absolutely superb. Thank you for joining the team. Coming across here, starting with Baxter Gaming. Baxter, it's really good to see you in here, mate. I've seen you, obviously, in the Discord and everything. It's brilliant to be able to add you to this list of superb people. Brian Treat. Brian, thank you. It is a genuine treat. I bet you've never heard that one before. To have you in this steel clad can can. Thank you very much for joining the team. Jolene Warrenbrook. Jolene, you've upgraded from cobble to redstone. All you cobble members, that is perfectly legit. Feel to feel free. It is really great to have you atop a redstone block. Thank you so much for that additional little bit of support. I am very, very grateful. And Walter Beasley. Walter, welcome to the patron team. It is good to see you on that redstone block clad in silver, completing this absolutely mad moulin rouge genuine rouge type of affair going on down here really good to see you mate let's get ourselves over to that brand new room so the room safe i've put in the wallage i've put in a little bit more edging around the edge you can see and we are ready to say hello to a few people Corrupt Cog is absolutely brilliant to have you as a cobble patron. Thank you so much. Fubica, thank you for joining the team. You're looking great in silver there, my friend. Stormy Springs, really good to have you as a cobble member. I am very, very grateful. Carl Kenderson, thank you so much for joining the team. Absolute pleasure to have you amongst this steel can can. Richard Sapp, good to have you there, mate. Really appreciate you joining the team. Thank you very much indeed. And Chris Gibb, ending up this little row. Thank you for becoming a cobble member. I am very very grateful. Lachlan Vela. Lachlan, thank you very much for becoming a Cobblestone member. It is absolutely brilliant to have you in this group and welcome to the underground tomb that is the rest of the Cobbles. Owen Batty, yep, you've done the double, mate. I'm very grateful for you joining both memberships and Cobble. You are an absolute star. Sean Chester, good to have you on the team, my friend. Looking good in the middle of this steel clad can can, along with Brady Kofal, looking good in the middle there with iron all over. Martin Fletcher, Martin, you are a star. I've known you since, blimey, I don't know, Martin, how long have we known each other now? It's years, right? It is a pleasure to have you in this can can. I'm really very grateful for that support. Here at one, here at with a reversed three, reversed E, that is a three. Really good to have you on the team, and thank you for joining the end of this iron can cam we've got a few more richard tester hi richard really really privileged to have you join the patron team thank you so much scouse man ian or oh, sorry scouse mouse ian loving that name scouse mouse ian thank you very much for joining the team absolute pleasure to have you on board jonathan kaufman thank you for joining me and cladding yourself in iron upon a pedestal of cobble it's really a pleasure to have you here and finally for today's episode red chris 76 Thanks for joining the team right in the middle of that can can. I hope they don't hurt your shoulders. If you want to get involved with Patreon, the link is in the description below. Go to avamance.com and all the benefits, etc., are there. It would be a real pleasure to be able to put you in this can can or in that can can or in that can can or whatever. Just put you in a can can. Also, you get to play on Avatopia, my new patron server, which is 
absolutely going mental at the moment. Really great players on there. It'll be good to have you. Let's get ourselves a mate in the mate space. Coming into this section of the mate space becomes very familiar now. Where are we? 70, 80, 81, 82? Yeah, 82. 82. Have I got fireworks? Let me just chat. Yeah, I've got fireworks. It's all right. Don't panic. I've got the fireworks. It's okay. Right. Put in a sign. Right. This sign is going to someone that is actually incredibly special. Two very special people, in fact. Yes, it's going to two people. Who could these two people be? Well, I'll tell you now. These people are so active in the comments, watching literally everything, contributing to Discord chats in Alphacraft. You are absolute stars, the pair of you. And it is going to Jerry Mom. And, and, you know what's coming. And Lily, because you are as much of a mate in this base as your mum. There we go. Cherry Mom and Lily. And I have to do twice as many. I have to do twice as many fireworks now, don't I? Way go where the fireworks all over your feet. I did half a stack of fireworks on you. I hope you appreciate it. Brilliant. Anyway, should we crack on? I feel we probably should. It's really good to have you. Thank you so much for the support, the pair of you. You are a couple of absolute stars. Well, that wasn't meant to happen. I can't believe that just happened. Where was... Oi, you're meant to be protecting me, dog. I know it's not a skeleton. For goodness sake, did you see that? I literally just pressed the record button and it blew up. Well, I consider that to be rather rude. I'm now going to have to fix this. Now, interestingly, this probably, or at least part of it, was going to be coming... Oh, no, look, we've lost some of that glazed terracotta as well. Oh, I'm going to have to walk... I've not got any gaps in my inventory, have I, ever? What added that? Look, I don't know. Anyway... I was going to do a little bit over here, actually, as it happens. Get rid of this green and turn it into grey and all that and do another building. But we've actually run out of time. One of the things that I'm actually thinking strongly, very strongly about doing, and I'd love your opinion on this, people, please, is getting rid of the mansion. Lose the mansion in its entirety. Live in the castle so as we can use this space. It takes up such a lot of space within the peninsula. But, you know, what's your thoughts? It's completely empty. It's poorly internally decorated maybe i can do more with a number of smaller buildings if i lose this what do you think comments in the description below should we get rid of the abamantia mansion let me know what you think if you have enjoyed this video please do remember to slap that like button it'd be great to know you're enjoying it and i will keep on making them also if you've not done it already please do hit that subscribe button it'd be great to see you in my sub club i look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now Bye. There's no more creepers around, is there? I'm a little bit nervous now.